everybody, what's going on? Day seven here on the farm. Uh, today, my garden jobs, there is no milk to do. So I get to spend like all my time focusing on my plants, which is gonna be a while. The wind is coming up already. I am, I'm gonna tell you, I'm tired of the wind. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna put some cherry tomatoes along this fence that I put up in the garden on the west side of it. Uh, there's going to be stuff growing on the east side, so hopefully they don't compete too much with each other. There's cucumbers and stuff growing on the other side, so I don't know what to do, but I'm going to try it and just see what happens. familiar scene in the cow emporium kitchen. I've got three gallons of milk. That's what happens when you get a whole day off because you've got three gallons to process. Um, got the big pot for the pasteurization of just milk. The pot at the back there for pasteurizing cream. On this one at the front I'm going to do a couple liters of yogurt in there. All righty then. Let's do it. Got a phone call from the hatchery today, said that our chicks could come a week early. So that's great. So now we need to make a place for them to live. This is the jack room in the barn. As you see, there's lots of room on the floor here for them. I'm just gonna move out a couple of things and uh, we're having the Cornish crosses, the brown layers, and turkeys. So we actually need <laughs> Corbin's getting dive bombed by birds. We actually need uh, three separate spaces for them because um, they don't mix well after the first couple of days. So, girl and I are gonna work on that today. It's hot in the barn. We're getting it together. We've got plastic on the floor. We've got three pieces of the four piece box for the turkeys, four pieces for the four piece box for the chickens. <sighs> now it's to put them together. So, boss, That's good. it's warm in there, hey? It is. It's warm. It isn't going to take a lot of heat during the day. We we'll want to make sure we erase these so that they don't cook. Yeah. But, uh, we don't want cooked chicken until they're bigger. So, so do you think we can just use the wall? That's yeah, possible. I, I'll see if there's another piece here where it's us. So I think we can we can set up uh, three here. One, two, three. Oh, you carried the sink out by yourself? Yeah. Just like a like your square garden is only. Oh, you want to build another box? Well, no, we can we get some cardboard. We can make a cardboard ring here. Oh. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. All right. So we got three different areas for baby chicks, and we need to hang these lights yet. Glenn has secured uh, some 12 foot boards up there that he's going to hang the lights from. So each light has a has a chain that goes with it, so it's not just a light hanging there. He double hooks the chain because we want everything to be as protected as possible. Hey everybody, it's day nine on the farm today. 
I am 9% done this challenge that I gave myself of 100 days of growing, making, and eating our own food. Just for fun. And for some exercise, extra exercise, I'll sometimes carry buckets of water to the trees on the farm. And I'll show you what I do with them. So while it's, well, it's not the most efficient way to water trees, uh, this is a really gentle way. So this five gallon pail had a crack in the bottom. So I just took a drill and made the hole a little bit bigger. And this gives the um, plant a gentle watering slowly and it gives it a chance to absorb the water that's coming rather than have the water run around into the um, area around the tree. So that'll take probably 20 minutes or so to empty actually. Yeah. So I'm going to go do some other things while this is draining. Good morning chickens. Good morning sir. See, so you guys got some leftover spaghetti squash from Glenn's mom and dad. It's nice. Oh, that is one old rooster, this guy. He did make it through the winter, though. Good morning. Aren't you pretty, girl? Yeah, these chickens are so pretty. I wonder what they're going to think of these brown layers. Uh, when the brown layers are big enough to be in with them. Zip, look at me. Oh, he won't now. Look who's coming out to milk 18. Mr. Cow Emporium! <laughs> Have fun. Well, I did it. I worked up the corn patch yesterday. I'm gonna hit it one more time with the rototiller. And then I'm going to bring the markers over and get ready to plant some fresh corn seed in there again and see what happens. Might have been too soon, too cold. I'm not really sure. Oh, you found another light. Okay. I forgot to get another thermometer. Ooh, it's kind of cool in here. I've been playing with the height. It's not cool in here. It's just right under the lights. Okay. All right, let's go get him. Can you take this in there? Oh, peep, peep, peep. You guys are okay in there. Let's get you into your new home. Safe to say there's enough for us and the bears.
The cows are calling their calves. Glenn's opening up a gate. So they've been kind of in around this pond here for a few days. So he's opening a gate up top so they can come into where I'm standing, which is um, on part of the old highway. If you've watched any of my videos about back west, uh, you can see the old highway that would wrap through our property. Look at all this grass. Holy snazzy. Like it's... <laughs> Sorry about the camera flip, but I'm going to show you this grass. It's up to my knees. Crazy. Amazing. I think I'm supposed to be watching Glenn to make sure the bears don't eat him. But, um, he's good.